Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Astrology Today and Tarot. Today is Friday, May 19, 2023. Sun in Taurus, brand new moon in Taurus. New moon is the is sort of like the pause between breaths in our creative cycle. So, you know, uh, between the new moon and the full moon, we sort of inhale. And then at the full moon, we take a little pause to stop and celebrate ourselves. And then between the full moon and the new moon, we sort of exhale. And this is the pause between exhale and inhale. If you think about it that way, this is a this is going to be a really sensual new moon, a very slow moving. We want to go ahead and plant some seeds. We want to put feel our roots in the spaces where we feel comfortable in our creative space, right? Uh, hopefully, you have gotten rid of some stuff and things, thoughts, attitudes, dispositions that you know are, are, that appear to be cluttering up your creative space up to now so hopefully we've pushed those things out and given ourselves this nice clean slate again to start creating our life with so with the new moon we come to pause we come to appreciate to get grounded to to love what we have and who we are in the moment and then we start thinking about what the future holds and i want to introduce you to the card that sits on the side of the page that is the seven of pentacles it's here because it corresponds in astrology with the final 10 days or the third decan of the sun's transit here in the land of Taurus. So Taurus is an earth sign. Pentacles and Tarot represent earth element symbolism. And earth element symbolism is about the physical resources you possess, a very Taurus vibe, okay? The physical resources you possess, including your body, and what you are willing to do with them to create a life where you feel secure, comfortable, supported, so that you can do the work that you love to do in the world. So here we come to the Seven of Pentacles, and it's just a couple more days with this card. I think on uh, mm, Sunday, we change over to the Eight of Swords. So uh, enjoy the Seven of Pentacles <laughs> while you can. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles, you know, represents a point in our growth. So this is about, you know, creating things of value for ourselves so that we can find stability, right? Um, so that we can have the nice things that we want to have. So allegorically, this person has been growing up, um, you know, a crop of some kind. And they are almost there. Seven is not ten. You know, the, the story goes one through ten. But they're almost there. So at, at seven, it's like, you know, you're, you, you've taken good care of your tomato plants and they, uh, you know, they have fruit on them and they look like they're really almost right. But you really need to stay the course at this point. You really need to not get impatient and restless and go ahead and pluck that before it has its full value. You need to not get impatient and restless and just decide to do something else and you know, come back and find that that fruit has rotted on the vine. It has no value for you. It, it's really a time where you, you need to just focus in on what it is that you're trying, what, what it is you want, what it is you're trying to do to create that sense of value, support, structure in your life, okay? So um, you really just have to stay the course, even if you're bored, even if you feel impatient, even if there's something else bigger, shinier, shinier, more fun, something that looks like a better opportunity, that, that's no reason not to stick to what you started, right? Go ahead and complete it and get the value from it that you had intended to get from, get from in the first place when you planted that garden, right? Okay, and so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and turn this card over. Oh, we got the Queen of Pentacles again. I think we got her recently with a different deck. This is my Luna edition of the Ethereal Visions Tarot deck, and I, I love this edition, uh, partly because it's so shiny and pretty, right? So, you know, let's talk about the Queen of Pentacles for a second. This is a person who has, has attained mastery of physical resources such that she knows what she has and she knows how to use it to create anything else that she might try to have, might desire, might seek in her life, right? So, uh, you know, sometimes in these pictures, the Queen of Pentacles looks a little bit um, like a mom or a mom to be, she does, this one doesn't look particularly pregnant, but it does. It's almost like she's cradling that pentacle in her in her arms, and th that you know just brings me back to. I want you to be aware that you know um, pentacles isn't just about your money. It's not just about the roof over your head. It's not just about the car you drive and the food you eat. It's also about your body. Okay, this your body takes 
nurture and it takes attention and you know if you want to get the kind of value out of it that that you need then you have to really give it your attention and and give it you know the best of your uh of your efforts the best of your resources the best of your uh your time and expertise okay so that's one thing I just want to remind you about today and the the queen of pentacles is appropriate right now because um, because we have so many placements still in Taurus as of today, okay? This new moon in Taurus, um, very, very much a Queen of Pentacles vibe, okay? The, so, you know, Taurus is our fixed earth sign. It's about establishing material security, okay? So this is a time when we want to go really slow and follow through. You want to feel your roots. You want to, you want to, when I say feel your roots, you know, feel at home and comfortable in the spaces where you create in the spaces where you relax in the in the spaces where you rejuvenate in your home you know or or you know some of us <laughs> some of us live a little bit more in our offices i understand that just make sure that you feel secure and you feel um you feel very much established where you are okay be in a place where you feel established if you're not feeling quite rooted in your home and you have family nearby go hang out with your family okay um you know be around people and things who remind you where you come from and what your values are in your in life uh this is very sensual and creative time you could get pregnant <laughs> this new moon so be be really aware of that pregnancy is on the table and it's a really good time just to cultivate your garden your body your home uh, you know, those physical resources that you have, they need your attention. They need you to clear out the brush, give them some water, feed them a little bit, give them some sunshine, that kind of stuff. All right. So this is us grounding in the earth's magical ability to give life and sustain it. That is the queen of pentacles. And that is the new moon in Taurus, the sun shortly about to leave in Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus for a long time. Mercury is in Taurus. The North Node is in Taurus. Jupiter just moved on to Taurus. So it's a very heavy Earth security vibe, wanting to establish that feeling of security or just enjoying the feeling of being established in a secure environment, in a secure network of family and friends, etc. Okay, so where do we that's where we see that on the page the the Taurus the Taurus vibes are strong friends and I'm really happy about that too because you know we're, we're struggling a little bit with some conflict right now Mars is opposite to Pluto and it's going to culminate this opposition tomorrow so it'll be at its strongest and uh you know I've been addressing this a lot as an internal conflict but it can it, it also represents external conflicts in our own lives with um, with people we care about, with people that we work with or socialize with, and and on the larger scale in mundane astrology, the, the the things that are going on in the world, we see a lot of conflict. We see a lot of fire. We see a lot of aggression. We see a lot of people firing on one another, or just starting fires, or you know, fires burning. So, uh, you know, you know, we're I I think we're all pretty aware of how of how aggressive it's gotten out there in the world. We're I think we're all pretty aware of of the of the uh the overwhelming conflict that seems to be happening in a lot of places and i think it's important to be aware of that even if there's not really much you can do from your own position the the thing that you can do from your own position is to not get involved in conflict right to, to not not to not get involved in conflict that's not what i mean because we've got mars trine neptune here saying yes get involved speak up for what you know is right okay if you see something that's wrong if you see something say something right um so it's not about not getting involved in conflict at all it's really about being able to 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 balance our own restlessness our own assertiveness our own idealism about the way things should be um you know against the <laughs> against the sort of urge to um, just strong arm people into doing things the way that we want to do them, right? Because uh, strong arming people is never the way to, to, get pe to get people's loyalty, right? It's really more, we want to follow a more queen of pentacles path where we know where we're from, we know what we value, and we're going to work on, um, on, on our own realm of things in such a way that we're planting seeds and helping people, helping people, helping things, grow in health in greenness in you know in love and and attention you know using our resources to build things 
of value to us. And that, that's the things about value that include, you know, sort of money and stuff like that, but also just the, just our family and our relationship with ourselves and our relationships with other people. Um, helping other people get to know where they're coming from as well could help a lot too. That just came to my mind. So, um, yes, Queen of Pentacles, very earthen, very Taurus vibe today. I appreciate it, especially in the context of all of this sort of fiery stuff that's going on. Uh, we have we have a lot of good grounding energy of Earth at this time. So take advantage of it while you can. Take advantage of the tools you are being given. By this Taurus transit, by these by these Taurus uh, developments, um, take advantage of the tools you're being given so that you can, you know, again remember where you came from when you're feeling like getting assertive or trying to uh, find a way to make people power people into acting right. <laughs> this is just not going to happen, right? We have to we have to be grounded. We have to work on ourselves and and do do our best to make things peaceful and safe and secure for ourselves and our loved ones. And with this, I'm going to pull the seven, seven of pentacles up. Very heavy earth and vibe today. Okay. With all these planets in Taurus and Pluto is about to move back into Capricorn, but mostly it's a very Taurus fixed earth vibe. Okay. So fixed is not moving. It's, it's strong. It's standing there. A fixed earth would be like, a pyramid, a fixed earth would be like a mountain. It's not something you're going to move in one one piece. In fact, you'd have to break it down into billions of little pieces to move it, right? So uh, just just visualize that mountain. If you're if you know if you're working on finding your roots, feeling secure, you know, visualize that mountain. Visualize that standing stone that never gets to move. Those Easter Island heads that are that have been there for centuries, you know. Um, we want to be like that. We want to stay on track with what it is that we value, with what, what it is that we're trying to create value from. We want to stay tr on track with building our resources. We want to stay on track with, um, you know, with uh, establishing the resources that we need to um, keep peace in our own lives and to support, um, to, to support others and their ability to keep peace in their own lives as well. I think that's all I have to say about it today, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate you showing up. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and click the notifications bell. It all helps me out a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.